Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we are going to see how we can copy items from one list to another list in an over SharePoint site. And we're going to be using Power Automate, not the desktop version, Power Automate in the cloud. So I'm currently on my source site and I have two lists. I have devices and I have employees assets. In devices, I just have a couple of sample devices where we have the title, the device type, and the serial number. In my employees assets list, I am using the device serial number as a lookup column, and I'm also bringing along the title column from that list. If I go into my target site, I currently have no lists, but what I would want is for the list to be created with all the columns. Now, I only have a couple of columns in my example, but imagine that you have 20 columns. You don't want to be creating them manually. In the target site, we're gonna click on new, list, and we're gonna create this list from an existing list. We are going to select our source list, and I want to copy the items from my employees assets list. I'm going to select that one, and I'm going to click on next. I can change the name if I want to, or just leave it as it is and click on create. What you observe there is that on my target site, I've selected my employees assets. And because I was using a lookup column to my devices list, it also created the devices list on the target site. We don't have any items. This is just a scaffolding with all the columns that we currently have in a source site. So if I go into employees assets, I will also have all the columns that I have in the source site. Now let's go over to Power Automate and create our flow to copy the items into that target site. The first flow that we need to create is actually the flow that will copy the items to the devices list because if we don't have anything in that list, then the lookup column in the employees assets, it's going to be empty. So for this demo, we're just going to choose an instant flow. Our next step is going to be get the items from that devices list. So the site address is going to be our source site. The list name is the devices list. And because I only have a couple of samples, um, I don't need to do any sort of filtering or anything. But if you have hundreds or thousands of items, you may want to turn on the pagination or do some filtering. And the way you get the pagination on, you go into the settings for that step and you turn the pagination on with a threshold number. Then we need to create the items. So at this point, you could choose to add an apply to each action right now, and then create the item. But we're gonna go straight into creating the item. I'm going to set my site address, which is the target site. The list name is going to be devices. And now at this point, we need to map the values for each column from the source to the target. So the title is going to be the title. And you see automatically it's actually creating the apply to each. The device type value, we're going to enter a custom value. And this way we can pick up from the dynamic content. And the serial number would be the serial number. We're going to save the flow and run the flow. The flow has run successfully. We have three items. Let's go into the target site. 
refresh. And now all the items have been copied and we simply need to do the same for the employees assets. So let's go back into Power Automate. I'm just going to use the same flow and change the values. So we keep our source site. We change the list into employees assets. Site address is the target site. List name, employees assets. And I'm not using the title for that specific list, so I'm gonna leave that blank. The employee name claims, it's going to be a custom value. And we have the employee name claims. And again, automatically it adds an apply to each loop. The employee ID, the join date, and the device serial number ID. Again, custom value. Let's save the flow and run the flow. Successfully run, let's go back to the target site. And now we have all the items with the lookup column that is filled properly. I hope this video helped you somehow and I'll see you in the next one.